In this video, you will learn how to make and manage a category in your Blaze Retail shop. When adding a new product, it's required to assign a category. So making sure that your shop has captured all of the categories that are necessary for your products is imperative. In your Blaze Retail shop, there will be pre-populated categories, but it's likely that you have a category that is not included in the system. If this is the case, you must create a new category. To do this, go to Manage Categories on the left navigation panel underneath the Inventory dropdown. Once in this area, you have the option to manage each category that has been pre-populated, as well as add a new category. Adding a new category is simple. At the top of this list, there is a blank row. Fill this out with the information for your new category. Enter the category name, select the category type, cannabis or non-cannabis, and the category unit, whether the product is measured in grams or individual units. Finally, choose the amount that you'd like to be notified if there is low inventory for this product category and select the plus sign to complete. Please note, if you're using metric, the category name is separate from the metric category. Additionally, they need product weights listed in a specific fashion. Further information regarding metric and other integrations will be covered in a later video. Once you have added the category, if you'd like to add a picture to represent this category, select the Upload button that is on the category's row to upload a picture. Editing an existing product category is simple. Click into the field you'd like to edit and make the desired change. Once you've made your changes, select the blue Save button next to the trash can. To delete a product category, select the blue trash can icon on that category's row. Please note, a category can only be deleted if all products have been removed from the category. Currently, there is no way to undo the deletion of a category. Finally, you're able to adjust the order of a category. To do this, click the button on the left of the category name with the three lines and drag and drop it into the desired place. This concludes the category management training. Up next is a training on how to make a product. Have a great day.